Are you ready to experience the ultimate in military firepower? Meet the multiple launch rocket system, MLRS M270A2, capable of launching a devastating barrage of rockets that can destroy enemy targets from miles away. But what makes the M270A2 so special? In this episode of Jamai, we will explore the production, capabilities, and deployment of this awe-inspiring weapon. From the types of rockets it launches to the damage it can inflict, we'll take you behind the scenes and show you everything you need to know about the M270A2. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an explosive ride. What is the Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS M270A2? It's a self-propelled, armored, and highly mobile rocket artillery system utilized by several countries worldwide, including the United States Army. The upgraded version of the original MLRS system, which was first introduced in the 1980s, the M270A2 is designed to deliver a large volume of firepower quickly and accurately over a wide area. Developed during the Cold War, as a means of countering Soviet forces, the M270A2 was produced to address the need for a highly mobile and powerful rocket artillery system. Features and Capabilities of the M270A2 Are you looking for a weapon that can deliver firepower like no other? Look no further than the M270A2 rocket system. Capable of firing a variety of rockets, including high explosive, cluster, and guided missiles, the M270A2 can reach ranges of up to 300 kilometers, 186 miles, and launch 12 rockets in under a minute, with a quick reload time of just a few minutes for another 12, range and lethality. The M270A2's tracked chassis provides it with high mobility, and it can operate effectively in various terrains. Its armored cab can protect its crew, and it can travel at speeds of up to 64 kilometers per hour, 40 miles per hour. The M270A2 boasts advanced fire control and navigation systems for accuracy and an armored cab for crew protection in combat, air defense suppression, and deep strike operations. Additionally, the system is highly upgradable to integrate new rockets, sensors, and other technologies in the future. The production and development of the M270A2 did you know how rocket launchers like the M270A2 are made? Let's explore the production and development process. The manufacturing process of the M270A2 involves several stages, including design, fabrication, assembly, testing, and delivery. The design process of the M270A2 starts with the development of a detailed blueprint for the system, which is created using computer-aided design, CAD software. This software allows designers to create and modify 3D models of the system's various components and subsystems. This process involves cutting, shaping, and welding these materials into the desired shapes and sizes. Once the individual components have been fabricated, they are assembled into subsystems. These subsystems include the rocket launchers, the vehicle chassis, the engine, the transmission, the steering system, and the electrical system. Responsible for holding and launching the rockets. They are made of high-strength steel and designed to withstand the stresses and pressures generated during launch. The engine, transmission, and steering system provide the M270A2 with propulsion and control. The engine is a powerful diesel engine that provides the system with the necessary horsepower and torque. The transmission transmits power from the engine to the tracks or wheels, and the steering system provides the operator with precise control over the direction of the vehicle. The electrical system of the M270A2 includes a range of components, including wiring, circuit breakers, and batteries. It provides power to the various electrical components of the system, including the launcher control system, the fire control system, and the navigation system. Once the individual subsystems have been assembled, they are integrated into the final system. This integration involves connecting the various components and subsystems and testing them to ensure they work together seamlessly. Finally, the M270A2 undergoes testing to ensure that it meets the necessary performance and safety standards. The system is tested under a range of conditions, including extreme temperatures, rough terrain, and adverse weather conditions. Types of rockets launched by the M270A2 What sets the M270A2 apart from other rocket systems? So get ready for a rocket launch extravaganza! Let's explore the different types of rockets launched by the M270A2. The Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS M270A2, offers a range of rockets, including M30 Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System, GMLRS rockets. These are guided rockets capable of delivering high-explosive, dual-purpose, and unitary warheads with a range of up to 84 kilometers, 52 miles. M31A1 Guided Multiple Launch Rocket Systems, GMLRS rockets. These are also guided rockets that can deliver high-explosive, dual-purpose, and unitary warheads with a range of up to 120 kilometers, 75 miles. 
M26A1-A2 rocket pods. These are unguided rocket pods with a range of up to 32 kilometers, 20 miles, and can hold up to 12 rockets. The rockets can deliver high explosive, incendiary, and smoke warheads. M28-M29 dual-purpose improved conventional munition DPICM rockets. These are cluster munitions capable of delivering submunitions over a wide area. The M28 has a range of up to 45 kilometers, 28 miles, while the M29 has a range of up to 70 kilometers, 43 miles. M39 Army Tactical Missile System, ATA CMS rockets. These are guided missiles capable of delivering unitary or cluster warheads with a range of up to 300 kilometers, 186 miles. Damage potential of the M270A2 rockets. How much damage can a rocket like the M270A2 do? Now buckle up and brace yourself for the explosive answer. The multiple launch rocket system MLRS M270A2 is a powerful weapon capable of inflicting significant damage on a variety of targets. Its effectiveness depends on the type of rocket used and the nature of the target. For example, the high explosive HE warheads can cause considerable blast damage to buildings and other structures, while the dual purpose improved conventional munition DPICM rockets can release submunitions that cover a large area and damage enemy personnel and light vehicles. The M30 and M31A1 guided rockets are highly precise and can deliver warheads to specific targets with accuracy, making them more effective against hardened or high value targets such as enemy command and control centers, air defenses, and logistics nodes. The M39 Army Tactical Missile System, ATA CMS rocket, is highly accurate and can deliver a unitary or cluster warhead up to 300 kilometers away making it effective against deep targets such as enemy airfields, logistics centers, and other high-value targets. Overall, the MLRS M270A2's varied rocket capabilities and accuracy make it a potent asset in modern warfare. Control and Operation of the M270A2 Who controls a massive weapon like the M270A2? Let's go behind the scenes and explore the control and operation process. The multiple launch rocket system MLRS M270A2 is operated by a skilled crew of three soldiers, the driver, gunner, and section chief. The driver navigates the vehicle to the firing location, while the gunner takes charge of aiming the rocket launcher and firing the rockets. The section chief supervises the operation, liaises with tactical command, and selects targets and objectives. The M270A2 rocket launcher boasts a state-of-the-art fire control system that permits the gunner to aim and fire the rockets with precision. The fire control system includes a ballistic computer, a laser rangefinder, a global positioning system (GPS), and other sensors and communication equipment that provide the crew with real-time information about the target's location, range, and characteristics. Moreover, the M270A2 is compatible with other battlefield management systems, such as the Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data System (AFATDS), which provides instant targeting information and enables communication with other friendly units on the battlefield. The advanced fire control and communication systems of the M270A2 enable the crew to engage targets with accuracy and speed, while minimizing the risk of collateral damage to friendly forces or civilians in the area. Deployment of the M270A2 Where has the M270A2 been deployed, and where is it headed next? The US Army has deployed the multiple launch rocket system MLRS M270A2 in various conflict zones worldwide, including Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. Other countries that have acquired the system, such as Turkey, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia, have also used it with great success. The M270A2 has been a highly effective weapon system in these conflicts, providing accurate and responsive fire support to ground forces and helping to neutralize enemy positions and threats. Looking to the future, the M270A2 is expected to continue to be used by the US Army and other countries that have acquired the system. The US Army is currently upgrading its existing M270A1 rocket launchers to the M270A2 standard, which includes improvements to the launcher's fire control system, navigation, and communication equipment, among other enhancements. Furthermore, some NATO member states and other US allies are considering deploying the M270A2 to upgrade their rocket artillery capabilities. We hope this deep dive into the multiple launch rocket system MLRS M270A2 has been both informative and entertaining. Whether you're a military enthusiast, history buff, or just curious about how technology shapes our world, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the M270A2. We have aimed to break down the complex science and technology behind the weapon and make it accessible to all. We believe that understanding how the technology around us works is key to making informed decisions about its use and impact. And with that said, thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.